this video, I'm going to be doing a Just Host website builder tutorial, going over how to build a website with Just Host using the Just Host Site Builder WordPress. I'll be showing you how to create your site with professional website templates using a drag and drop editor, making building your website with Just Host quick and easy. I'll also be providing you with a Just Host discount so you can save some money under Just Host web hosting purchase. You'll get up to 74% off plus a free domain name on an annual plan. Let's get started with the Just Host website tutorial. The first thing you want to do to build a website with Just Host is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to Just Host and so you can take advantage of getting up to 74% off plus a free domain name. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I receive a commission from Just Host at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome Just Host discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the Just Host homepage you see you can get web hosting for as low as $3.95 a month. Click the Get Started button. You'll now be on the Select Your Plan page where you can choose your Just Host hosting plan. You'll see the Basic, Plus, and Choice Plus plan. If you scroll down, you'll see a Pro plan. All four plans come with a free domain name on any Just Host annual plan. The Basic plan is a good plan if you're going to have just one website or is great when first starting out. This plan comes with five email addresses you can use. The plus plan allows unlimited websites. This is a good plan if you're going to have more than one website. This plan comes with unlimited email addresses. This plan also includes spam experts. Spam experts is a tool that you use with your email address that will filter out spam emails or anything that can contain harmful content. The Choice Plus plan comes with unlimited websites and email addresses as well and includes the Spam Expert along with the main Privacy Plus Protection and Code Guard Basic. The main Privacy Plus Protection protects your personal information from the public and will show just host default contact information instead of yours in the public who is database. Code Guard Basic backups your site daily and allows you to restore your site to a previous backup with a click of a button. The Pro Plan comes with everything that the Choice Plus Plan comes with, plus a dedicated IP and better servers for performance. With a dedicated IP, instead of your site sharing the same IP address with others, you'll have your own IP address. For most, the Basic, Plus, or Choice Plus Plan is what you want to choose from. You can always upgrade to the Pro Plan as your site traffic grows to a high volume. Click the Select button on the plan you want to select. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the basic plan. You'll now be on the domain page where you can choose your free domain name. If you click on the .com, you can choose the domain extension you'd like to go with. If you already have a domain name, you can click the I have a domain name field and enter the domain name you have registered somewhere else. Once you type in a domain name that you want for free and hit the next button, you'll be on the create your account page. Enter your information under the Account Information section. Next, you'll see the Package Information section. If you click Account Plan, you can choose the term for your Just Host hosting plan. You can choose to pay monthly, every 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. You'll see you'll get the greatest discounted pricing on the 36 month term. If you go with the monthly option, you won't get your domain name for free and you will have to pay for it. Next, you'll see the Package Extra section. This is where you can select any Just Host Package Extras you'd like to go with. All these Package Extras are completely optional, and you can even add these at a later time in your Just Host dashboard. You get a cheaper price for them now if you get them when you initially buy your Just Host web hosting. So just something to keep in mind. The first add-on is Domain Privacy Plus Protection. You'll see this package extra if you are getting your free domain name with Just Host. If you went with the Choice Plus plan, you won't see it as it comes with the Choice Plus plan for free. I highly recommend going with the main privacy plus protection as this will protect your personal information from the public. It can protect you from getting lots of spam and telemarketers reaching out to you via email and phone to sell you their services. When a domain name is registered, it is required, regardless of the company you go with, that your personal information be included in the public Whois database. By choosing Domain Privacy Plus Protection, 
instead of your information showing, it'll show just host information protecting you. Next is Microsoft 365 Email Essentials. This will provide you with an email address you can access via Microsoft Outlook. Your Just Host account already comes with email accounts and you can set them up with email providers such as Apple Mail, Gmail, and more. This package extra isn't necessary unless you want to utilize Outlook for your email. Next is SiteLock Security Essential. SiteLock Essentials protects your site from malicious attacks and hackers and from getting malware on your site. You receive daily malware scans, blacklist monitoring which ensures your site doesn't get blacklisted by the search engines if your site does have a virus. It will also block automated bot attacks. Site lock can be good as it will protect your site and if something does happen where it gets hacked, you won't be left trying to fix and find the malware. This package extra can be beneficial. It isn't necessary though. Next, you'll want to enter your payment information. Select the Agree to the Terms and Conditions and click the Submit button. Just Host also accepts payments via PayPal. Once you hit the Submit button, it'll redirect you to the PayPal page for your payment. Just Host will now email you your receipt along with login details so you can begin in creating your site. You'll now be on a Congratulations page. Click the Set Password button to proceed. You'll now be on a Create Your Password page. Enter a password you want for logging into Just Host. Click the Create Account button to proceed. You'll now be on a page where it'll ask you how much help you need with building your site. Feel free to click the one that you want. You can also click Skip This Step. I'm going to click Skip This Step. The next page, it'll ask you the primary purpose of your site. You can select one if you'd like. If you click into the other tab, a drop down will show giving you more options. Under this, you can also click skip this step if you'd like to. I'm going to click skip this step. You'll now be on the create a website page. You can select what type of website it is and who you are creating the site for if you'd like. Click the continue button or skip this step. You'll now be on a page where you can name your site along with putting in your site's tagline. You can always fill this out later, so no worries if you aren't sure on this yet. Click continue or skip this step. You'll now be on a page where you can select the theme for your website. There's a bunch of pages of themes you can go through. You can also choose a theme in the WordPress dashboard, which I cover in this video. Choose a theme or click skip this step. You'll now be in the Just Host dashboard. You'll see the login to WordPress button in the top right. Click this to go to the WordPress dashboard so you can start creating your WordPress site. You can also click My Sites in the left side menu. Click Manage Site. Click the login to WordPress button in the top right. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard where you can begin in creating and building your WordPress site. Now we want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left you will see tabs. Find the Appearance tab and hover over it. Click Themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click Add New Theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with a drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Then click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in starter templates. You want to click install on it, then click activate. Hover over the appearance tab in the side menu, click on starter templates. You now want to click the build your website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It will now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes that you can create your site with using drag and drop. 
You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options, you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change, we all love nature, to this is my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section, click edit selection, click style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you'll see where you can link out the text to a page, change the sizing of the text, change the alignment of the text. If you click style, you can change things like the text color and under typography, the font you want to use and more. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you like in the sections. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu, you can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page on your site and then start replacing with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll select one. Click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like at first, you'll need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button. What I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, you can just click one you like. I'll click this one and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select a form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. 
You can click to create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, you can view what your site looks like on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click site settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose view page, it'll show you the view of the page and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, it'll show you all the images you've uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over post and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam, or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. If you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. You can then click an area in the footer area to start making edits to that section over on the left side. You can also click what you'd like to edit in the left side area. Both will take you to the same place to make edits like seen here. If you click the plus icon, you can then add things you want. For this, I'll select widget one. Then if you hover over where you see the settings icon and it says general, click this. It'll now populate a welcome to block widgets. Click the got it button. This message won't show from now on. Click the plus icon. 
If you click the Browse All button, you can scroll through all the things you can choose from for the footer area. I'll click Heading. You can now put in whatever you'd like. Up at the top, you can make edits. If you click the three dots over to the right, it'll give you options you can select. At the bottom, click Remove Heading to remove the heading from the footer. If you click the X button next to the footer element, you can then completely delete that out of the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm going to click the back button twice. Now I want to go over editing the header area of your site. Click the header builder in the menu. You can then hover over what you want to edit in the header and click the pencil icon. You can then make changes and edit it. Here's another example. From the main header builder page, you can select what you want to edit over on the side as well. To edit the menu, I'll click the pencil icon. Click the configure menu from here button. The primary menu is the menu here at the top in the header area. You can click this and choose between different menus created like shown earlier in the menus part of this tutorial. You can also click edit menu and then you can drag the order of pages. Click the tiny arrow and make changes like the name of the menu or you can completely remove it by clicking remove. Click the add items button. You can now add pages to the menu, post, categories, and more. I'm going to click the back button twice. You'll now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site such as blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to build a website with a just host site builder, WordPress, and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my Just Host Website Builder tutorial. If you have any questions, get in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Just Host hosting tutorial videos.